uh, hey everyone hey uh, yes hi everyone hi how are you guys i hope i'm audible and visible can anyone give me the confirmation in the chat box yes yes hello hello rohit quiz kahan hoga so quiz uh, will be there uh, at the end of the session right please make sure that we are joining so yeah don't worry about the quiz yes yes hi hi how are you guys good evening good evening rs gaming yeah in the meanwhile let me uh, share my screen uh just give me a second yes uh i just give me a confirmation is my screen visible is my screen visible guys <clears throat> good evening navin good evening good evening good evening good evening so how are you guys how are you guys uh, did you revise the previous uh, session <laughs> i'm not i don't think that you must have revised hello manish this site hi hi manish yes sir visible 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 great 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 everyone chalo theek hai acha any any doubts from the previous session yes sir revised learned extra also great anirudh so anirudh is saying that he has revised the previous session and he has also learned extra that is the attitude towards coding we need right you have to you have to put in your extra efforts to ace your coding skills right how to talk to you <laughs> चलो ठीक है आई एम आई एम अवेलेबल ऑन लिंकडन सो यू कैन पिंग मी ऑन लिंकडन आई विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू हेल्प यू आउट ओके ठीक है सो एनी एनी डाउट्स फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस सेशन गाइस एनी डाउट्स फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस सेशन एनीथिंग यू वांट टू आस्क इन द मीनवेल मोर मोर पीपल आर जॉइनिंग एनी डाउट्स फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस सेशन आई होप सो व्हाट आर टॉपिक्स वी डिड यस्टरडे राइट वी वी कवर्ड द बेसिक्स ऑफ टेक्स्ट वी कवर्ड पैराग्राफ टेक्स्ट वी कवर्ड द हेडिंग टैग्स राइट वी कवर्ड ऑल दोस बेसिक टैग्स and after that we covered we covered an image tag what what is an image tag and how how do we add images we covered attributes i hope everyone knows what are attributes so can anyone let me know in the chat box what do you mean by attributes let's see who has who has revised anyone what do you mean by attributes let's see who has got the answer for that <clears throat> so navin uh, it, it 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 does not depends on element so chalo i'll i'll, I'll tell you right okay so theek hai what do you mean by attributes anyone what do you mean by attri attributes can anyone let me know let's see who has revised and who has not uh, yes yes rohit you can gives extra information to the tag okay i have received an answer from vivek what about others okay indri when uh, venkata says give extra information about tags okay provides characteristics extra information uh, extra information okay okay great great so i think most of you have done your homework right you have revised and please make sure that acha starting from today we'll have assignments as well so day 2 and day 3 they're all consist of assignments so if you go to the portal i'll also tell you in some in some in some point of time right you have to mark your attendance there and wherever you the, the place that there you mark your attendance you have an assignment link also there so you have to submit the assignments right and please make sure that you are doing all by yourself you're not taking any help from the google or internet right chalo theek hai ठीक है गिव्स इंफॉर्मेशन टू द टैग एक्स्ट्रा इंफॉर्मेशन यस सेज इट गिव्स इंफॉर्मेशन टू द टैग ग्रेट ग्रेट डिफाइंस द बिहेवियर ऑफ एचटीएमएल ओके आई रिसीव्ड अ डिफरेंट आंसर फ्रॉम आकांक्षा एंड दैट्स अक्षय एंड दैट्स आल्सो प्रीटी गुड राइट इट डिफाइंस द बिहेवियर ऑफ द एचटीएमएल टैग्स ग्रेट चलो ठीक है ठीक है सो टुडे टुडे फर्स्ट थिंग दैट विल बी विल बी डूइंग इज अबाउट लिस्ट ठीक है नाउ सो यू मस्ट हैव सीन ठीक है सो आई लेट मी आई विल आल्सो टेक एन एग्जांपल ठीक है यू मस्ट हैव सीन दैट यू हैव लिस्ट राइट यू हैव बुलेट पॉइंट्स इन योर एचटीएमएल ठीक है एंड हाउ डू यू गेट दोस बुलेट पॉइंट्स हाउ डू यू सी हाउ डू यू लाइक सी दोस बुलेट पॉइंट्स एंड हाउ डू यू मेक इट इन योर हाउ डू यू कोड इट इन योर एचटीएमएल टैग सो विल विल सी 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 दैट सी दैट टुडे ठीक है इन द मीनवाइल लेट मी ओपन माय वीएस कोड आई जस्ट ओपन द वीएस कोड ठीक है सो दिस इज द कोड दैट वी डिड यस्टरडे राइट अह आई होप इट्स विजिबल टू यू ठीक है जस्ट गिव मी सेकंड राइट चलो लेट मी डू वन थिंग लेट मी जस्ट ओपन द लाइव सर्वर लेट मी जस्ट गो लाइव 
so uh, we know that uh, we we know right uh, what is go live is what what does what do we use to go live what do we use to uh, view our code in the browser we use a go there's an then there is an extension in vs code that says go live okay it's a go live server once you click on that okay once once you click on that you will reach to your destination you will reach to your source file okay so uh let me just cancel all these things right okay so here is what we did yesterday right we covered image tags we covered heading tags and things like that so today the first thing that we'll be doing is the first thing that we will be doing is today list okay now what do you mean by list what i uh, what are list uh, list used for and what are these things right so we'll today there so uh the tag that we use for a list is can anyone let me know acha before that before that i'll tell you the types of list okay so list uh there are basically p a s i c a l l basically two types of list okay acha can anyone let me know what are the two types of list that we have in html two types of list majorly okay i'll say majorly majorly two types of list okay so yes ordered and unordered very good sandeep okay i have received multiple answers that's great okay so the first one is the first one that you have is an ordered list okay this is nothing this will just simply tell you and will list the items in the ordered format so if for example for example how how it will do uh let's suppose you have a list let's suppose your name let's suppose i have a list my name okay prithik masal and let's suppose i want another name so let's suppose here uh second uh can i have a name in the chat box sandeep kumar okay sandeep kumar sandeep kumar so as you can see that this is an ordered list right 1 2 3 4 and 5 and 6 this is the ordered format right this is the ordered format now how do you get this ordered format you have a specific tag for that okay in general in general right in general uh to use an ordered list theek hai we use a tag and what is that name of the tag the tag is called ol theek hai ol ol and how do you close it you close it like this theek hai theek hai in this in this it it's it's very simple right in this ol uh stands for ordered list theek hai so i'll quickly do one thing uh, let's leave the theory part apart i'll just quickly uh, uh, come to come to my vs code right now let's make let's make an ordered list theek hai so what is the tag that i told you we use we use an ol tag so i'll mention an ol tag theek hai now in this tag right you have successfully made an ol tag now the list that you make will have items right your name is an item my name is an item sandeep kumar is an item so all this item you have uh, you have another tag for that and that tag is li li stands for list so whatever things that you write here in list that will come in your browser so let's suppose i type in my name pratik masa okay now you will get the list in the form of an order that is 1 2 it it can be any order you can change the you can change the you can change it you, so let's us by default it is numbers you can change it to num you can change it to romans you can change it to alphabets right a b c d but the point here is all the list that you see here will be in an ordered format let's suppose i have i want to have another name let's suppose li i want to have a sandeep sandeep kumar theek hai so this is how it will have theek hai i think it's very simple right so i'll i'll quickly come here uh, i'll talk about li right i'll talk about li so uh to uh list uh the items in inside our li tags uh, inside our ol tags tags we use what tag we we use we use li theek okay. hai this represents the list 
एलआई सिंपली स्टैंड फॉर लिस्ट ठीक है एल आई सिंपली स्टैंड फॉर लिस्ट ठीक है so what i what i told you that if you want to have a list in your in your in, uh, in your web page right for that we can use an li tag okay now this type also has uh, this list also has type so let's suppose and uh, now if i want to uh, you can see that there are numbers here okay what if i want to change the format for numbers to romans okay what if i change want to change the format from numbers to roman so anyone has got any idea how do we do that how to change the type of uh, the list order list anyone let's see who has got an answer to that anyone okay okay so uh, right 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 so for that you have a tag right and the type and the, uh, what is the what uh, so for that you have an attribute right and what is that attribute it is type it is type so let's suppose ha huh, yes no not style attribute sub type so let's suppose here i am typing ol type equals to a now as soon as i refresh right so now you can see that my list is in format of a b c d it, it is still ordered right mind you it is still ordered but now my type of the ordered has changed so let's suppose i am having some, some other name there let's see okay let's suppose uh, can i have some names uh, yes navin theek okay, hai navin patel theek okay, hai so now what will happen that it will have a type you, you can similarly it's right you have a type of i so this will result in roman numbers i hope everyone knows what are roman numbers right these are roman numbers that you got so this is what you have it here okay now apart from this apart from this we also so now we talked about ol tag right okay now the thing that we'll have here is uh, just give me a second is my audio clear guys hello is my audio clear chalo theek hai now similarly uh, we also have an unordered list ठीक है नाउ व्हाट डू मीन व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय अन ऑर्डर लिस्ट ठीक है ऑडियो इज क्लियर ठीक है चलो सिमिलरली ठीक है जस्ट लाइक अह जस्ट लाइक ऑर्डर लिस्ट वी आल्सो अह हैव अन ऑर्डर लिस्ट ठीक है लेट्स सपोज यू लेट्स सपोज यू डू नॉट वांट टू मेक योर अ लिस्ट ऑर्डर राइट इट हैपेंस राइट यू जस्ट वांट बुलेट बुलेट पॉइंट्स सो फॉर दैट for that we use a tag called as ul theek hai it simply it simply uh stands for an ordered list so on ordered list theek hai as simple as that now it is it is the same as ordered theek hai li is same theek hai it behaves the same as ordered list ordered list theek hai the difference being the difference being that these are not numbered Okay. Uh, the difference being that these are not numbered. That is the only difference that we have. So let's let's go ahead to the compiler and let's implement it. Okay. So for UL, uh, sorry, for this you have a tag called as unordered list. Okay. Simple. Now, uh, similarly to similarly to what used in uh, in above, right? Use an li tag for that. You also have an li tag for that. Okay. That stand for list. Now, I have a list here. Okay. Let's suppose I want to. uh type in some uh, random uh, what do you say states okay let's suppose new delhi that's what that's what i belong to right and i let's suppose have another state let's suppose uh uh assam okay and i want to have another state 
let's suppose Gujarat. See, now you see the difference. What is the difference between or Panipat is not a state, I guess, right? Uh, it's Haryana. Panipat is a right. Okay. So what is the difference, right? What is the difference between ordered and, and an ordered list? The difference is right here in front of you. Right? Ordered list was numbered, it was in a sequence format. Now this does not have any sequence. Right? This has not got any sequence, as simple as that. So similarly, this also has a type. This has also got a type. Okay, so let's suppose I want to do a disk. Uh, we just give me a second. Uh, yeah, an order list. Okay, now this also has a type. Uh, Rituka says, answer me. Uh, what question have we got? Uh, hello, sir. My number is different, but what if I want to want OTP on a different number? Okay, so you want to register for, for the uh, boot camp, right? So uh, I would suggest you to please register if the number that you're having in a mobile phone, right? Because uh, the OTP will definitely come on onto that number only. So it's, I think it should be the, num the number should be there within your system, right? So uh, please make sure that you have that number, or, or if you want, you can use your parents' phone. That's up to you, right? You can use any SIM that you want until and unless you have a number, uh, you have a SIM inside that, and it is it, it is accessible. It as simple as that. Got it? Got it? Yeah. So I'll, I'll also tell you how to market attendance, right? And we'll have the, we'll have the quiz in the last part of this part of the bootcamp, right? So please be patient, right? Okay. And anything else? Okay. So yeah, we are we are talking about the types, right? Uh, yes. So let's have a type as what is the okay. UL. Uh, I think we don't have any type attribute for UL. I'm not sure because it is not showing up. Let me do let me do square. Is it? Yeah, it's there. So now see uh, this, you have a square format. Okay. So this is how you have a type. You also have, I think you also have disk. I'm not sure if, if I, we have, we, are, we do have disk, right? Okay. I think we have circle. We have circle, if I'm not wrong. Circle. Yeah. So we have circle. So in, inside the circle, uh, it will be an empty circle, right? There'll be, uh, they, it will be a void circle. Then it will not be filled from inside. Okay, so this is how this is what you have in uh, inside the in, inside the tags, right? Okay, disk. Huh? I, I think I think by default it's disk. So disk is by default there. If I do disk, it will come like this. Okay. Any doubt? Any doubts? Uh, but this number is switched off. So yeah, Radhika, that's what I'm telling you. Either take your parents' phone or take your cousin's phone, right? Please make sure that you're registering because if you don't do that, it will not be there. Okay. Form, yeah, form will be doing most probably today or tomorrow, right? Sir, I'm from ID Delhi. Whole hostel is your <laughs> thanks, thanks, mother. Okay. Uh, wrote for you that you use and person NBFC and the NBSP. Okay. Yep. And person NBSP. Yes. Okay. Chalo. So I think the difference is clear between ordered list and uh, ordered list and unordered list, right? Uh, is there any doubt? How do you add? What tag do you use? What are the attributes that you use? How, how do you change the types? Chalo, okay. After that, after that, we have a thing called as a div. Okay. This is mostly and very widely used in HTML. Okay. Divs. Okay. If you are if you are making a website, if you're making a web, if you're making, if you are making a skeleton of a website, okay this div will be the most important and the most widely used tag okay most widely used tag. now can anyone let me know can anyone tell me what do you mean by divs what are divs in, in html if you have if you have gone through 
some extra information sir are you a full stack developer yes yes director i am okay so can anyone, anyone let me know what do you mean by divs and what are divs used for sandeep says div i think there is a spelling mistake he must have division okay so we have to divide the section it's a semantic tag used to create a division okay hellfire says it's a division container container it provides a block provides a block is a container container okay okay so you are mostly correct right a div is nothing it's it is just and empty container okay that is used to create a section in a web page okay so i'll tell you i'll tell you uh let me jump over to the code directly okay okay and i'll make a div i will make a div okay now this div that i have made here it's nothing it's just an empty container you can put anything that you want into an empty container in fact all the list items that have i have explained to you just now you can wrap it inside a div that will mean that all the items all the names ritik sandeep navin all the names that are there all the state names that are there they will be wrapped inside a div they will be enclosed inside a div there is a division it's a box it's an empty box okay so i'll tell you let's suppose uh, i have a paragraph in here okay by the way divs can have multiple and multiple uh, tag inside them so this is a paragraph okay so as you can see this is a div right here okay now i can work if i want to i can have an h4 i'll say that this is heading 4 okay so you can you can have an heading here so uh, this the concept of div will be more clear to you once we cover styling because then, then i can you know uh, apply a border and margin to that so that it will be more visible to you but for now you have to just understand that div is a container is an empty container or a box that can have multiple tags and those tags can have multiple attributes okay it is just a kind of a division yes yes to the call okay uh, the quiz will be okay so the quiz will be there at the end of the lecture not now okay so just be patient the quiz will be there right don't worry okay so this is what we have a div okay so uh, if you are not understanding the div because i cannot show you the box right now for that we need to have chalo theek hai i'll just uh, make a style theek hai sal attribute and i'll give border as let's suppose 2 pixels theek hai 2 pixels a uh, solid uh yes theek hai ab dekho i told you right i told you right that div is a div is a box it's a container so this is a container that you have theek hai all the <clears throat> all the things that you have this is a paragraph and this is a heading right all the tags all the elements will be enclosed inside a div will be enclosed inside a div theek hai yes nikita yes theek hai uh, nikanta yes theek hai that will be inside a div now now see after that right it, it's a very simple concept so first we'll we'll be covering styling theek hai after styling we'll be cover we'll be covering more aspects of div theek hai now after that okay i i i hope i hope the concept of div is clear to you right it can have multiple tags multiple elements you can have anything that you want to but all the things will be enclosed in a container acha why do we why do, so but then why do we need divs right then if we can have individual uh, tags and individual elements then why do we need divs let's suppose i want to apply a common styling let's suppose this is a div right this is a paragraph and this is a heading heading 4 let's suppose i want to apply a same background color here so how will i make sure that these two elements or these two tags are having the same background for that i'll be having a div because the div provides a common space to both of them whatever styling i do inside a div will be applicable to both the tags theek okay. hai so it will be more clear to you once we do css so next topic we have here is css uh the most interesting i would say right because it can have animations and styling to your web page 
इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक आई एन टी आई एन टी आर ई एस इंटरेस्टिंग वॉट इज स्पेलिंग ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग आई एन टी आर ई आई एन टी आर ई एस द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वाइडली यूज ठीक है सो एनी वन वॉट डू मीन बाई सो द फुल फॉर्म इज कास्टिंग स्टाइल शीट राइट आई होप एवरी वन नोज द फुल फॉर्म आई होप एवरी वन नोज द फुल फॉर्म बट सी एस एस इज यूज टू एड स्टाइलिंग आई गॉट द स्पेलिंग राइट ठीक है सी एस एस इज यूज टू एड स्टाइलिंग हाउ डू यू एड स्टाइलिंग ठीक है बिकॉज इट्स इफ आई इफ आई कम टू एनी वेबसाइट राइट लेट सपोज इफ आई कम टू लेट सब ग्रैप so as you can see right this website that we have is it consists of colors it has colors right it has animations it has many things <laughs> right so how do you achieve these things because in an html you can only give skeleton right it, it can only have content but how do you decorate your content how do you decorate your, decorate your web page it's with the help of css theek okay? hai now you can modify your html code. there are three types that you can so i'll tell you it is used to add styling to your web page theek hai now there are three ways that you can add styling to your web page there are sorry theek hai there are three ways that you can add styling to your web page theek hai anyone let me know yes yes i got an, yeah i can already have some answer i already have some answers great theek hai so what are the three types one is inline the second one is external internal and the third and the most widely used one is external ठीक है देर आर थ्री टाइप्स वॉट आर दो थ्री टाइप्स इन लाइन इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल ठीक है सो द फर्स्ट वी विल बी कवरिंग फर्स्ट विल बी कवरिंग इन लाइन ठीक है वी विल बी कवरिंग इन लाइन इन लाइन स्टाइलिंग ठीक है दिस इज वेरी सिंपल दिस इज द मोस्ट इजिएस्ट आई आई नो ऑल आई आई थिंक ऑल adding styling is very simple right but still you have three ways to add styling so how do you add the first one is inline theek hai for inline i'll quickly come to the code instead of giving you theoretical knowledge theek hai i'll quickly come to the code so here you have the code theek hai ab dekho let's see uh let's ignore the ignore that for now theek hai if you want to add inline styling uh, just give me a second uh yes theek hai If you want to add inline styling, there is a tag or there is an attribute that is called style. Yeah, it's it's. I think it is very. Uh, it, it comes from the name itself. What is? Uh, how do we add styling by the tag style? Okay. So let's suppose you want to add a styling to a div, or you want to add styling to a paragraph. I'm first. In, I'm first taking an example of div. Uh, uh, after afterwards, we can take example of list and all these things, right? So. I'll mention here at at color style, ठीक है style equals to within two curly brackets or uh, two inverted commas. ठीक है now you have to mention the properties that you want. Let's suppose I want to have a background color, ठीक है I want to have a background color, so I'll just type background color, and here I can type what background color do I want. Let's suppose I want a background color to be as aquamarine. So as soon as I do it. Right. As soon as I do it, this background color will be in aquamarine color. Okay. Ah, uh, there are many many style properties. You have background color. You have color. You have text. You have ah uh, border. So let's suppose I want to add a border. Okay. I want to add a ah uh, border of two pixels, and it should be a solid. And let's suppose red in color. Okay. So this will how this is how you'll add a border. Okay. And one thing. Okay. One thing. uh this uh, inline styling is not recommended at all theek okay. hai why it is not recommended because this makes your code more complex 
and this increases the number of lines in your code if let's suppose if there is any any bug let's suppose your you have thousand lines of code right and let's suppose if there is any bug it will be a very he headache task it will be a very hectic task to remove that bug because it is very inconvenient uh hyper dj is not slow i would say i think they all a same uh same, same speed it, it, does, it doesn't really matter but the thing here it is it is very inconvenient to debug it is very it is and it it, it increases it it increases the line of code that is why yeah it makes the code messier yes okay that is so as you can see right we only have written one line of code let's suppose you are uh, you are in a company and you are writing the company's code it, it is thousand and lakhs of lines let's suppose you you uh, add styles in each and every line so it will be a really messy thing right so as you can see i have only added a single line here and it 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 really like messes up the code this is this is how you do it right so in, in order to encounter that we have a thing called let me come here okay uh yes okay so uh, i'll just quickly type uh, this is used to used to add styling in line okay i hope it is very uh, understandable like in in line we use a tag that is style okay for example let's quickly come to the code and let's paste this out right this is the example that we have uh yes so let's reduce the size and here it is okay this is how you are internal style yes you also you cannot you re uh, reuse yes very good point by by channels okay now in order to encounter all these problems we have a thing called as internal style okay this is better than uh in line but this is not the best one this is better than in line but this is not the best one so how do we are internal styling i'll just quickly come here okay let me let me uh, remove this part and let me come here to the top okay to add in add an internal styling you use an attribute called as style uh, not here here okay you use an attribute called as style just like this okay now inside that you have to mention you have to mention the styling let's suppose i want to add styling to a div okay so you'll mention div and you'll put on two curly brackets <clears throat> and here you'll specify which styling we want let's suppose i want the background color as red and uh, let's suppose border radius as uh, let's suppose i don't know 20 pixels Okay, now if I come to my code, if I come to my code, uh, where it is, yeah. So as you can see, I have a border radius as well as, as a color. Okay, now the difference here is I did not apply any styling in line. Okay, so earlier I, I used it here, right? Now I do not have any styling here. Now I only have styling on the top of the page. Okay. This is much better, right? This is much better than the previous one, we could say, but not the best technique. Not the best technique. To have a best technique, to do a best technique, we have a, another type of linking, and that is called as external linking. Okay, so I'll, I'll just quickly internal styling. Okay. right so okay to add internal styling uh, to add internal styling we use style tag okay we use style tag uh, for example, for and then and then inside style tags, uh, 
you and then inside style, style tags you mention the css properties you mention the css properties okay as simple as that okay now uh, for example for example uh, this right here uh, yes. i'll just take i'll just take out a screenshot and here it is ठीक है, this is an example of adding a, a, a internal style. Now, uh, the last part we have is external styling. ठीक है, and the most wide. So if you're if you're coding in HTML, this is the most widely used styling that you have. ठीक है, so the most widely used styling method, styling technique or method you can say. ठीक है, method is is external styling okay now as it is the most widely used so what is an external styling okay in external styling you make a separate file altogether you make a separate file altogether and in that file you write your css so what is happening now your html code is separate and your css code is separate okay so i'll quickly show you i'll quickly come here i'll quickly make a new file I'll quickly make a new file. Let's suppose I give it a name of uh, day two bootcamp, and the extension for making a CSS file is dot CSS. Okay, dot CSS. Up. Okay. So, uh, tell me one thing. I have an HTML file. I want to just comment out this code. Okay. Tell me one thing. I have an HTML file. Okay, and I have a CSS file. How will how will my HTML know that which CSS file, the code is there. In which CSS file do we have the code? How will it make sure? How will my HTML file know that which CSS styling is there and what is the name of the styling that we have to apply? For that, yes, as correctly said by Monu Kumar, you have a link tag. Just like you, you want because you want your HTML to know, right? What is the file that you want to up? What is the file that should be there to apply a CSS to properties to it? Okay, for that you need a link. You need to link. It's 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 just simple, right? You need to link your HTML and CSS together so that the CSS properties are there in your HTML uh, files. Uh, as simple as that. Okay, so for linking, right? For linking, you for linking, you use a keyword called as link. Link CSS. Okay, in this you provide the reference. The reference is the class name, uh, the the file name that you have. So in this case, the reference is what it is uh, dot slash day two bootcamp dot css. Okay. So I'll quickly come to this part. I'll quickly uh, take a screenshot. Uh, yeah. Here you go. Okay. Now here I come. So uh, this one. Okay. This here. Is there is, is a relation? This is this will always be style sheet, but this can change. Okay, this can change. This is simply the reference of the CSS file that you want to link. Okay, as simple as that. Now, after you have linked your CSS. After you have linked your CSS, how do you add styling? It's very simple. You just go to your you just go to your CSS folder. Okay. So let's suppose I want to add styling again to let's suppose uh, what? Uh, 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 let's suppose this time I want to add styling to my paragraph tag. Okay. I'll quickly come here. I'll quickly let's suppose I want to add styling to my paragraph tag. So I'll type in p. P stands for paragraph. That is a tag. And I'll I'll and I'll. Uh, uh, type two curly brackets, one opening and one closing. Here I will mention the CSS properties I want to have. Let's suppose, let's suppose, uh, where is it? Let's suppose uh, I want to give it some uh, color. I want to change the uh, text of the color. 
for that we can use color we can use color and color let's suppose i want to have as uh, uh what brown okay now see now my paragraph uh, tag now has now turned into a brown color similarly i can i can give some uh, I, i can also give styling to my div so let's suppose div and let's suppose i want to give it a background color background color of let's suppose aqua and some 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 what do you say uh some what border radius you okay, get border radius of around border radius of around 10 pixels okay acha let me uncomment this part because this is hampering my this thing okay clear guys how do we add uh okay clear guys how do we add excel styling and the most uh, the, the two things that i want to talk here about uh, about here is your uh, margin and padding okay what do you mean by margin okay let's suppose i give i'll want to give it some margin margin of let's suppose around uh, 20 pixels okay so margin is the difference between your boundaries of your uh, tag uh, let's suppose i want to give let's suppose i'm giving it a border of 2 uh, pixels solid and a red okay so uh, and also also i want to okay so and let me give some padding as well okay padding of let's suppose padding of let's suppose around 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 uh, 20 pixels now see the difference this has come in between now okay this has come in between now ठीक है नाउ नाउ हाउ व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मार्जिन एंड पैडिंग ठीक है पैडिंग इज द इंटरनल स्पेसिंग बिटवीन द टैग्स बिटवीन द टेक्स्ट बिटवीन द कंटेंट्स एंड द बाउंड्री पैडिंग इज द स्पेस आई विल जस्ट क्विकली टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट एंड आई वांट टू पेस्ट इट हियर ठीक है सो व्हाट इज पैडिंग ठीक है इफ आई टेल यू पैडिंग इज द space between your text oh ho oh. ha between your text from all the directions from all the directions and the border of your div as simple as that and what is margin margin is the outside spacing is this the body and the and the boundary this is margin right we all know what's a margin right it, it it's it's a it's an english word margin right the out, out, outer boundaries and padding is the inner boundary between the tag between, between the text and the boundaries of your tags a boundary of your div it can be a div it can be a paragraph it can be anything theek hai yes yes sandeep you can theek hai so this was all about css what are the three types of css it's inline internal and external acha see Uh, why do we prefer inline why do we why do we uh, prefer uh, external css because the code here is separate right the code is separate uh, we have a separate uh, code uh, for html and for css if there is any bug if there is any 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 sort of confusion in the code and we know that it is a css css code that is uh, that is not up to the mark so i i do not go to, i do not even want to touch in my html code because it is totally fine if i have a problem in my css code i'll just quickly open the css file and i will change the only the css code here okay yeah, the code is not the code here is not mixed theek okay? hai the code here is not mixed right but what do you mean by mixed that css and html part are not here got it theek okay? hai so this is what we have and, and and we use it most widely because at only the reason right less less chances of errors it is very it is very neat plus if you are if you are having any bugs you will be able to rectify them easily all right got it chalo acha uh, to mark your attendance so i'll tell you how to mark your attendance so you go into the let's subscribe website right uh, you first sign in uh, with your e email ids and accounts that you have right you go to my programs if you have already if you have already registered if you have not registered uh scroll down to the bottom of the page 
क्लिक ऑन एनरोल नाउ एंड यू विल बी रजिस्टर्ड ठीक है सो इफ यू ऑलरेडी रजिस्टर्ड गो टू दिस गो टू माई प्रोग्राम सेक्शन ठीक है गो टू एस टी एम एल एंड सी एस एस बिकॉज दिस इज एम एस टी एम एल एंड सी एस एस एसेंशियल बुट क्या आफ्टर दैट यू विल सी एन ऑप्शन है सो टूडेज डे टू एड इन सी एस एस टूडेज डे टू एंड हेयर विल बी विल बी एन ऑप्शन टू मार्क द अटेंडेंस सो क्लिक ऑन मार्क द अटेंडेंस हाउ वुड यू लाइक टू रिकमेंड टूडेज सेशन Let's suppose I want to recommend it to my friend. Which program program are you interested in? Okay. Let's suppose I'm interested in the full stack development program. And any 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 feedbacks? Nothing. So this is how I submit my attendance. Got it? If now if if I refresh, you can see my progress bar. It is currently twenty three percent. If I refresh my progress bar, uh, now it will be somewhere around forty six point one five percent. So it it has increased, right? And you also see an option to view and submit the assignment. right click on view and uh, click on view the view assignment okay this is the homework that you have okay uh, do this homework and attach the github link if you are not comfortable with github you can also uh, code on your uh, on a google doc file and you can paste the link of google doc file here okay it could be any link it should that it should be visible to us that's it okay and so about the programs we are uh, currently uh, having are having two or three program uh, two programs right Uh, the first one is uh, the java and dsa program and second one is C, uh, the second one is css c++ and we also have a full stack development program along with the data science program okay what is the difference between the bootcamp and the program is that uh, this program if you enroll in it will be an in depth in depth it will provide you in depth knowledge okay and you also have multiple things let's suppose you have 3 months of extensive learning and extensive problem solving skills you will be having three mock interviews right 100 plus problems to solve and the best part is that you will get a short placement guarantee the, that is the best part right within 180 days of the completion of the boot camp you will be able to get and crack the uh, crack the what do you say the placements theek hai this is the part and they also we also have a uh, a btech program running so if you uh, let me just go to youtube right if you are someone who is uh, looking for pursuing btech degree and who is looking for pursuing uh, what do you call uh, graduation okay you also have a link attached in the description box so if i come here uh if i open the description box so this is the program that we have right this is the btech program that is there so you can go through the go, go through this program right uh, what is the difference between a normal degree and this degree is that you will get guaranteed internship in a final year plus minimum of 8 lpa job guarantee right minimum 8 lpa job guarantee program right yes anwar will be will be doing the selectors tomorrow okay don't worry theek hai so this is how we have it and uh, if you want to want to like uh, explore more you can go through this website right it is there it is there with you right you have all the information and if you have still have any queries you can contact the team they'll surely get back to you right and uh, if you know someone who wants to pursue a btech degree if you have your cousins you have your friends right and you want to refer them to the btech uh, program you also have a referral program right so if you if you if they join this course by your referral you can get rupees 80000 or a macbook m air one theek hai so these are all the things that you have right so please explore them uh, rishi the assignment question is there on the website right i told you Uh, if you go on to, go on to let's upgrade website if you click on my programs here and if you go to html and css if you come here this is the assignment that you have please go read this assignment go to the assignment and please submit it all right a uh, monosi the size of the size and uh, what do you say the size of the div will not increase it's just that if you add padding your data will shrink towards the middle because the i told you right padding the space between the content and the boundary so if you add padding that means you are adding extra space between the between the tabs so that's it, it it gets into the middle of this theek hai chalo uh, with that being said now we will be having a quiz right i hope you all are eagerly waiting for the quiz and waiting for the prizes to be distributed right acha uh, one thing more uh, the 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 prize the, uh, the what is the cost of this program the java and dsa program it's it's around 5900 okay i think it's exactly 5900 right 
uh, plus uh, we'll be having a quiz just right, just now if you are performing if, if you come first in the quiz you'll get it absolutely for free if you come second you'll get rupees three thousand off and if you come if you come third you'll get rupees thousand off okay so that is the beauty of it so please i am uh, focusing on please attempt the quiz please give it your best right and let's see if you're the lucky one you'll get it absolutely for free with placement 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 assistance right uh, if you have multiple decks for that, you use a thing called a selectors, right? There are two types of selectors. One is ID and one is class. That will be covering tomorrow, right? But if you want to, you can you can explore. You can explore some things by yourself also. You can go through what do you mean by ID, what do you mean by class, and you can explore and you can then do it, right? Uh, we will be leaving some part of you to be explored, right? Because we cannot teach you everything in 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 just three hours, right? You need to be self-aware. You need to you need to self learn many things, right? You need to practice. So these things come by practice. If you have, if you are having any doubt, Google is the best option that you have. Google, th Google things. Now you also have Chat GPT, right? <laughs> just, just type a question in Chat GPT and it will give you the perfect answer, right? So just a hint. You have to, you have ID selectors. One is, you have class selectors. Sorry, you have selectors, right? One is class, and one is ID. Go through them and then do the solution. So okay. With that being said, uh, now let's have a quiz. I'll just call the management, right? So just give me a second. In the meanwhile, if you have any doubts, you can you can let me know, right? Uh, yep, yep, they're joining. I will join full stack program. Yep, you can you can join if if uh, if you think that you really want to be a full stack developer right can go through it and you can let me uh display flex yeah display flex will also be covered tomorrow right today tomorrow we'll be, we'll be having a small project and a flex a flex and plus uh selectors these three things so can you please instead uh insist leave space between so Rohit, for that you use a keyword that is called and percent nbsp right it is called and percent nbsp Okay. How to upload this assignment? So in order to upload, you know, in order to upload the assignment, uh, you have to uh, go to the website and attach a link there. Okay. So can you give a complete roadmap for full stack? Yeah. Chalo, okay. Remind me or uh, remind me on day three, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Okay. So, okay, I think we have we'll be starting off with the hello. Now. Hello, sir. Hello, guys. Am I audible clearly? Yes, and I'm your audible. Yeah, so guys, today we'll start again with the quiz. And I hope, sir, uh, already must have told you about the rewards and uh, the game thing, how to play it, how to. Sir, have you informed that, like how to enter yes, the yes. game and all? Uh, no, I haven't yeah. told them how to enter. I've just told them the rewards. Achha. Good evening, Naveen. What's the deadline of the assignment? Till tomorrow end of the bootcamp, you can submit your assignments. So guys, let me share my screen first. Yeah. So, so is my screen shared? Uh, yes, yes, I know. to attend i will uh, so guys first of all go to code.8 i will show you so go to code.8 i will share you so here yeah, i will share you what game pin you have to enter that game pin here and uh, or you will, or else you can scan the qr code Guys, this is the Kahoot game pin. You can go to this page, Kahoot.it, and enter this game pin there, or else you can scan this QR code. I will put this game pin in the chat box also. Till then, uh, join uh, using this pin or scan this code. And please log in with your username that you used before your Gmail ID. So we, uh, the reward coupon code will be mailed to your mail ID. 
and so please and please monu kumar please so we'll how so where we can so where can i find the same in the one link uh, you, you can go on the one link and scroll the page beside uh, beside day one mark attendance option you will see the view a submit assignment uh, why is this cracking there might be net issue hello let me share the game game pin 609 Sir, I think the voice is proper. Hello. Uh, I think. The... Yeah, yeah. Sir, if my voice lags in between, so please, so uh, you. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Thank you. So uh, the game, the game pin is right there in the chat box, right? It's six zero nine four seven eight five. Please enter the game pin so that you want, so Or that you can, can enter the quiz. Preeti Sharma, please, yeah, so the... please log in with the username that you use before your Gmail ID. for the for today the majority is nice please guys uh, you will get the coupon code for the first top 3 winners the first one will get free java dsa and second will get rupees 3000 off and the third one will get rupees 1500 off yeah you can change um, re enter the game while and uh, then you will get to change the name link please of what you want link pin to devaya you will get the reward uh, for the top 3 winners you will get only 20 seconds for the answering each question within that mere 20 seconds you have to answer with minimum uh, seconds so that you will be the first it's like fastest in the first like kbc how will we play kbc so you have to answer with minimum seconds and uh, You will get the first winner will get free Java DSS. Second will get rupees three thousand off, and the third one will get rupees fifteen hundred off. I cannot enter the full name. Okay, uh, Naruto, uh, do one thing. If you win, then I will get your email ID in the chat box. If you are unable to uh, enter with that full name, then uh, write any of the names which is uh, same to your uh, YouTube chat. So we'll get your uh, how many questions? Ten questions will be there. Each question twenty seconds. abina in the winning go to uh, where you mark the assignment attendance below that only you will get the view or submit assignment option that that is the thing where you will get to submit your assignment abina we can also watch the recording right i have i have shared my screen and i have explained where you want to go right you can re uh, rewind it after the lecture and then you'll be able to find the assignments okay guys uh, tell me where, when to start so i will start the game if you are done with entering everyone then i will start the game please send the quiz link uh, please scan the code right the code is right there on the screen uh, the qr code please scan the code, qr code i will share this code i will share this code uh, uh, link you there you enter the game pin and enter into the game Please wait for some time. It is loading. Yeah, we are waiting for you. Assignment C. Ah, see, Abhinav, I am sharing my. I have shared my screen. I am showing you the link. In this one link, go to one link. Yes, scroll your page. Ah, uh, beside the date to adding CSS uh, title, wala uh, title mark attendance option is there. Below that, we have submit assignment option is there. Click on that toggle, and you will get to submit your assignment here. So is it is it clear now? Shall we start the game? Today so guys, the start? majority is very nice, guys. Uh, be energetic and please answer with the minimum second. There is a ninety-six. Shall we start? How uh, to enter? I have shared the code dot it link. Please uh, go to that website, enter the game pin, or scan this QR code directly. Vignesh, scan this QR code comment. or put the game pin in that dotted uh, website. Uh, okay, Dhruv is saying, okay, please wait waiting. for two minutes. Guys, enter fast. Acha, acha. 
Yeah, yeah. Guys, uh, guys, they will start within two minutes. Wait for uh, Dhruv and Vigneesh to enter. Dhruv and Vigneesh, just give me thumbs, uh, thumbs up in the chat. If, uh, if you have entered the game, then we'll start. And once we start the quiz, you'll not be able to enter. So please make sure that you're entering before the starting of the game, right? Please be joined. Do not exit. If you exit, you'll not be able to get into the quiz. Sorry, I have missed something. Uh, Sir will dictate. If I, if I miss I'm sorry, one for the quiz I asked. Uh, the game is not started. No, it's not started. So please dictate the question because I think my voice is lagging in between again and again. So, in, uh, so you dictate your voice is fine, but yeah, I'll also dictate. Okay, okay. No, Lala Kumar, wait, wait for two minutes. Vignesh and uh, Dhruv, can we start the game? Have you entered? Okay, Chetna. Yeah, yeah, anyone who wants to join, they can join. You will get the coupon code for Java DSA if you want this game. Win this game. Shubham, if you end, uh, now let it be. If you win the game, I will get your email ID in the chat box. Now let it be. I will start the game. No one can start. I will host. I am hosting the game. So I will start and I, I will do everything. You just have to answer the questions with minimum second. Guys, I'm starting. I think uh, the count is very good and we can start the game. So, yeah, starting the game. Guys, concentrate now here and answer with minimum seconds. It's the uh, fastest in the first game. Vignesh has joined. I can see Vignesh has joined. I'm starting the game. Yeah, so guys, the game has started. Guys, focus here. Do not uh, now spam on uh, chat. Which HTML tag is used to define a paragraph? Guys, only six twenty seconds uh, will be there, and you have only twelve seconds now. So please answer which HTML tag is used to define a paragraph. I think it's a very easy question. Even I can answer this. So please, guys. 62, 60, many answers, many of them have answered. Yeah, the answer is P. That P. So we'll see the scoreboard at last. Huh. We'll see the scoreboard at last. Huh? So second question. Second question. What is the purpose of the anchor tag in HTML? Guys, only 14 seconds left. And uh, 23 people have answered. Please answer fast. Four seconds, one second only. And the correct one is C option to link to another web page or resource. So next question and see this last. Third question, do not answer in chat. Please do not prompt in chat. Let them answer on their own. Which HTML tag is used to create an ordered list? It's very easy. Every everybody must know this answer. Four seconds, guys. Yeah, so time is up. The, and the answer is C. Please do not answer in chat box. Please, guys, let them uh, play answer it on their own. How can you apply an external CSS file to an HTML document? Questions many different. Chetna, आपके वहाँ पे कुछ net issue रहेगा, please uh, network में रहिए proper. Okay, I'm waiting for the next question again uh, for two seconds. The for answer for this is using the link tag. 
waiting for two Ram seconds. Is leading. Haan, from starting his lead. Man, I can't see the questions. Man. There must be any uh, any issue from your side. Others are able to answer. I don't know, guys. Then why it's not showing to you? Others are uh, many of them are answering already. Sixth question. She can which CSS property used to set the width of an element? That uh, that was the option for that. No. Eight seconds are left. Seventh question. Which CSS property is used to specify the color of a text? Fourteen seconds. And only twenty seven answers. Eight seconds, guys. So the option is correct one is color. So next question. How how can you apply internal CSS styles to an HTML document? Sixteen seconds. Nilkant, I have I had shared the game pin. Now you can't enter the game. Already it started. You can now you try to participate in tomorrow's session. Tomorrow we'll play a game. Ram is still leading, guys. Beat him. What is the correct way to link an external CSS file named styles dot CSS to an HTML document? Arvind, do not prompt in chat, please. With what you do, like I can't get you. Three seconds, and the correct one is C option. Last question, guys. This is the last question. If you win, the first offer will get free coupon for Java DSA code. Uh, which is uh, paid in let's uh, which we have in let's upgrade and uh, second we'll get rupees 3000 off and the third one will get rupees 1500 off four seconds zero the time is up and the correct one is b option now we'll see the scoreboard who are the toppers and who gets the reward Oh, Monu Kumar is the third. Viraj Matre is the second. And Ram, congratulations, Ram, Viraj, and uh, Monu. Please share your Gmail ID. We'll share your, we'll share the uh, unique coupon code on your mail ID through which you can uh, take admission in our Java DSA. Please, uh, Ram, Viraj, Matre, and Mono waiting for you. Do not write at the rate gmail.com. Only write the username and at the rate. Then I will uh, get your, uh, otherwise it won't show us in the chat box if you write full user uh, gmail ID. Just write the username that you, Ram, I got Ram, Manoj, Manu, Mono, and Viraj waiting for yours. Thank you, Ram. Thank you and congratulations, Ram. From uh, first question to the last question you are leading. Viraj and do not worry Viraj if you were not able. Do not worry if you were not able to join today's quiz. We'll also have the quiz tomorrow as well. Okay, so please yeah. make sure that you have proper internet internet connection tomorrow. Or else you can join with mobile also. Yeah. Tomorrow also quiz. Yes, yes. Tomorrow there also be a quiz. Monu waiting for your okay. mail ID. 
Ma'am, I accidentally write wrong email. How to change? Who is this? Uh, Shubha Misri. ठीक है नो इश्यूज यार नो देर टेन क्वेश्चन यार आई थिंक वॉज अट इश्यू फ्रॉम योर एंड ठीक है कनेक्टिविटी इश्यू फ्रॉम योर एंड बट डो नॉट फील सैड बी ऑल्सो है क्विज टुमारो राइट प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट यू जॉइन विद प्रॉपर इंटरनेट कनेक्शन टुमारो एंड यू आई थिंक एंड लेट्स शो फॉर द बेस्ट दैट यू वेन राइट माधव मोनू इज माधव कुमार मोनू बाई इज ही सेंडिंग इज ही मेट एवरी वन थैंक यू सो मच गाइज थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग फॉर टूडे विल हैव द सेम या है माधव गॉट इट गॉट इट गॉट इट थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच एंड विल प्ले दिस गेम एंड विल हैव एन अमेजिंग सेशन अगेन टुमोरो सी यू थैंक यू थैंक यू रोहित विल what to do with assignment what have to there i have already shared my screen and sir also have shared his screen you can see the recorded uh, recording of this session and you will get to know how to submit your assignment and we'll meet you guys tomorrow thank you for joining for today and we'll end this session and we'll meet today please guys do not forget to like and subscribe the channel please share it with your friends let them know about our btech program on page a java ds and full stack web development program please guys and we'll see you tomorrow and on monday we are we will start with uh, javascript so see you again bye guys bye sir chalo bye bye everyone bye bye Hey, hi everyone. So my name is Sai Kiran, and I'm the founder and CEO of Let's Upgrade. And I'm having some amazing news for every one of you. Let's Upgrade, in collaboration with ITM Skills University, is launching the first BTEC CSC program that we love to share with you all, guys. Six features. Number one, hundred percent job guarantee to all the students joining this particular program with minimum eight LPA. Number two, one year paid internship in product slash MNC companies. Number three, taught by real developers working in the industry in top companies. Number four, amazing campus, a campus which is like we work in Mumbai that we are building for you all guys. Number five, build lots of projects. which are like real world applications highly scalable applications from hotstar to zoom to your zone zomato number 6 you are going to love the community collaborations that we guys have done we are collaborated with 13 plus tech communities to give you the same environment what iits and nits have meet lots of industry people participate in hackathons and meetups to understand what is running in the industry that's what these are the six features which we have you can check out the program on our website that is isu.ac.in check out btech there you will find it that's it guys bye bye